Hey chat. Hey little chat. Hey chat. Hey, hey chat. Hey chat. Hey chat. Bow, 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 bow. Hey chat. Whoa. Ba 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 ba. Josh Floyd, I think for the tier one. Holy shit, dude! What? I just got a freaking tier one from Josh Floor. I'm losing my mind. I'm fucking from the Josh Floor. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me right now. Raugen Hoxa, thank you for the sub. I'm streaming. Hello. Hello, I'm streaming. I haven't streamed in a really long time. I'm streaming now. I'm gonna play balloons. <laughs> I'm gonna play balloons. Hello, KTX. Oh, thank you, Apollo Rain. R slash, R slash, yo mama, Ponma, take that. You ever think about that one? I'm playing balloons. I'm playing balloons. I'm gonna play easy mode. I'm a little baby, baby monkey. This game is so freaking funny. We, uh, so we tried to play this game. This is a little, little, uh, secret fact. We tried to play this game for Sleep Deprived, and then we realized that you had to unlock the multiplayer. <laughs> like, you, you, you don't just get it by default. Someone had to be level 20. So I gotta get to level 20. So you could play balloons. Hello. Hello, Anthony o Oatmeal. Anthony Oatmeal? That's fucking awesome. I wish my name was fucking Anthony Oatmeal. Is your last name actually fucking Oatmeal? That's fucking great. I hope you guys see my gameplay here. This is um really professional gameplay. But I assume you guys knew that already. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dog joke with the 38 year subscription. I'm rich. I'm a millionaire. I'm a, I'm a millionaire. Look at this. Boom. Mm. Ah, yeah, it's like a beat. It's kind of go. It was almost going along with the song, but then now it's out of sync. A panda's gameplay on Luigi's Mansion was abysmal, dude. That video was so fucking fun. Are, there are actually fucking haters that are like, "Ooh, no schlad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit myself." Like fucking that episode was fucking good. Schlat and sh when schlat's there or not, our videos are good. You know? That's what I think. Come on, monkeys. Just shrimpy. Thank you for the tier one. Yeah, I loved the, the Luigi's Mansion one is my favorite out of the three, I think. We recorded three uh, while Schlatt was gone, but Schlatt's back now, so you're gonna get some more videos soon. But yeah, we were like, uh, we were on it. On that Luigi's Mansion one, I think. That one was really fun. I'll put a little tack shooter here. Let's get tacky with it. No, no, no. Not three Luigi's Mansions. No, no, no. Sorry. I should be more specific. The Escape the Backrooms, Luigi's Mansion, and the TikToks. Those were recorded while Schlatt was on vacation. But now he'll be back. So you're going to see some sick videos. We recorded, we recorded some fucking funny ones, dude. We recorded the other day and it was like, we all agreed that like, this was like the, one of the best sessions we had in a while. I had 11,254 minutes listened to the SDP podcast yes. on my Spotify wrapped, crying face, crying yes. face. Akiko, thank you for the 100 bits. That is a fucking lot of minutes. Listen, you are a super fan. I respect that. Thank you. You paid my bills. Seriously. Thank you so much. Panda is a himbo. Yeah, Panda's kind of the himbo of the group. That's true. That's true. That's true. What does the glue gun do? I don't care. I'm monkey mode. <laughs> Catch me on my super monkey ball shit. Here we go. Dude, Jackbox is so fun. Jackbox is unironically my favorite one to uh, to play, other than Gardic Phone. Gardic Phone and, and uh, Jackbox are my favorite ones. Kalpa, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Holy shit, fuck, dude, I'm gonna cry. So many cool subs. Are we gonna get level two height train? Yeah, I thought this was glue. What is it? Is it cum? It says glue gunner. 
What's wrong with me saying glue? It's glue. It literally it says glue gunner. Let's try glue gunner. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, dude. Glue gunner! Let's glue it up. He's got that gun ripped and ready. Was that the whole level? Okay, good. I thought that was it. Yeah, Jackbox is really fun. It's really fun. That's Gardic and Jackbox are my favorite. I like when we play games that aren't games. Like games that require like uh, no gaming. You know what I mean? I like very casual stuff. Personally. Who want to hang out at the glue trap with me? Are we flies? Are we little flies? I feel like a fly stuck on a glue trap sometimes. This is like a good way to describe me. How I feel. Feel trapped. Feel trapped. On a glue trap. You lost your DS stylus? Fuck. That's really sad. I hope you find it. I've I've uh I've lost some of those things and I'll be honest with you. Never found them again. And I'm not trying to be over dramatic, but this could be it. This could really be it. Sniper monkey. I feel like I should put him like at the edge of the map, right? Like just sniping. Let's try it. Let's see if he does it. Dude, he does. Holy shit. He's like fucking intervention out there. On the other side of scrapyard, he's like boom, boom. Barrett 50 cal, boom. Holy shit. It's Jover. I love watching Astra show off her skills in drawing games lol. Dude, you're so kind. That's such a kind thing to say. I don't have any drawing skills. You guys are wrong. I need people with money to think that I have drawing skills. Then they'll buy my my Etsy products. I need people to buy my original art. Lego... Legoshi's left foot. I also have seen that anime with the wolf. What's his name? Oh, Legoshi. <laughs> That anime? Ooh. That was a good one. I respect you and your username. I don't have any talent. I'm uh, I'm a nobody. I'm worthless. I'm just a little bean. I'm a little fly on the glue trap. I'm worthless. I'm a worthless little being. I mean nothing. Thanks, guys. Thanks guys, thank you. I'm a monkey now. I'm a balloons monkey. Let's put a monkey right up at the front. <laughs> Fucking Odom. They don't even know what's coming. It's just monkey at the beginning. Just boop. Boop. I'm not talented. People think I'm talented. I'm not. I just do whatever I want. And that's... If you unlock yourself and do whatever you want and express your true self, then you'll be awesome. That's all I'm saying. Opinion on the Denver Broncos? See, I was uh, kind of interested in their season. This is where I talk about football and everyone's like, what the hell? I was really interested in their prospects this season because they have uh, they have Sean Payton at the helm. And I was a really big fan of his coaching work in New Orleans. Like, I really thought that, uh, especially he was like a good like talent finder, like just really good at finding talent. Like you think of all the just great uh, pieces on the Saints team, like Taysom Hill, like he's just like this random fucking gym rat. Like he's obsessed with like gym rats. And I thought that he would go to the uh, Denver Broncos and like just fucking destroy, but they still have Russell Wilson at the helm. And you can't fucking trust him because Russell Wilson's just not the same fucking passer he used to be. He has to be a pocket passer now and he's not used to being a pocket passer. He's used to being a run, flank to the right, flank to the left, throw down the field. He doesn't know how to throw it down the middle of the field. Doesn't know how to be a pocket passer. He's getting old. He's too slow. They got to get rid of Russell Wilson. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, balloons. <laughs> but I like the Broncos. Who just gave me money? Soul Undertaker. Think of the resub. I'm playing monkey game. Holy shit. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. They paid him so much, right? They paid him so much. Get your ass in that team? Yeah, if I was on that team, I love when people say that. They're like, oh, get me out there. Put me in, coach. Oh, when I was 16, I was whew, I was the best football player in the whole state. I used to throw it across the whole field. I, man, I could have been an NFL player if I just really tried harder. I love when people do that. Do I like basketball? It's so funny, we were talking about this uh, 
when we were recording the, the Switch Pride podcast uh, earlier today. We we're talking about basketball. I want to get into it, but I've I've never really watched a game. I don't know how to start. It's like I can name like two basketball players. What does the submarine guy do? Like, actually, what does this fucking guy do? It doesn't seem like I can put him anywhere. Does he need to be in the water? <laughs> I get another fucking sniper. Let's get another sniper out here. There we go. What are you going to do about that? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to be upgrading the monkeys, right? Yeah, I can name two uh, NFL or NBA players. LeBron James. And hold on. I can do another one. Like, current day. Uh, Zion Williamson. That's another one, right? Uh, James Harden. That's three. Uh... Fuck! That's all I got. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Okay, let me see if I can, like, evolve them, like Pokemon. Ooh. Quick shots. I feel like quick shots would just be smart. Let's get fucking extremely quick shots on that monkey. Like, just so fucking quick. Do they make this game easy on purpose? Like, is it the point that it's easy so you keep playing it and it's not actually a game? You ever think about that with games sometimes? You're like, this game is made for me to defeat it because if I didn't defeat it, I wouldn't be having fun. It's just a trick. You're right, I'm on easy mode. I shouldn't I shouldn't talk like that. What are my thoughts on Animal Crossing villagers who suck? Um Like what what like which ones? I don't think any of them suck. Except for that little fucking rat. There's a little rat with a fucking beard. Like he has like beard. Like a fucking I hate that guy. You guys know what I'm talking about? Beard rat. Fucking hate beard rat. That guy's fucking sucks. <laughs> Oh, man. I would kill that guy. Yeah, Moose. I would kill Moose. I would literally strangle him. <laughs> I would strangle him until the life was gone in his eyes. Animal Crossing is boring. Um, I think it's just not for you, right? Like, I, I also think it's not for me, but I really like the fucking characters. Like, the characters are so cute. I'm like that with a lot of things. Like, I really like Animal Crossing characters and Pikmin characters, but I don't actually want to play the games. I just want to look at the characters. Same with Sonic. I really like the characters, but I don't really care about the games. Is that fucked up? What's wrong with me? Because, like, when I play fucking... Dude, when I... I get really into Smash. Like, I, I, I get so excited to see, like, the new character drops. I'm like, oh my god, who is going to get out of the game? And then I don't even fucking play the game. Does anyone else do that? It's fucked. It's fucked. What's wrong with me? Well, my monkeys can shoot fast. I'm weird? Fuck! I don't know, I just like, I get into things like as a spectator sometimes, but I don't really wanna, I don't actually wanna do it, you know? That's how I am with games, at least. Do I have a Smash main? I like Pichu. Because it's just kind of funny. Well, it represents me, because that's, like, my favorite game is, like, uh, Pokemon Crystal. And so I really like, like, the, uh, the characters in that game. So I, f I figured my main should be Pichu. Because it's a Johto Pokemon. And I love that it's, like, it's, like, kind of bad, but kind of good. Because it, like, hurts itself when it attacks. <laughs> it's like a troll character. Ooh, Ness is cool. If I... That would be, like, up there for some of the best characters. If they added Geno to the game, I would be a Geno main. I've wanted Geno in the game since I was, like, a kid. I've always wanted Geno in the game. I have played Mario Wonder, like, the first, uh... Some of the first world. It's so good. I've never heard of that, Lugoshi. It, it, <laughs> we love to goon here, Sly Cooper. We love to goon. 
Eight ads? Are you kidding me? Look. <laughs> Mommy's got to pay rent. Thoughts on the MatPat cameo? I, I've been seeing that all over Twitter. I haven't seen the movie. But I've been seeing that, that he was in it, and that's pretty funny. They should hang MatPat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. <laughs> that was just a joke. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I don't even know anything about him, honestly. I know he does those videos where he's like, Is FNAF Sans from, from Pokemon? And then it's like 30 minutes of like, trying to theorize why like Sans is like a random guy in Oklahoma. Thank you, JJS Pro from Prime. From Prime? With the Prime. JJS Pro from Prime. <laughs> I need to upgrade these fuckers. Yeah, I need this. I need Full Metal Jacket to pop those like really fucking crazy balloons that suck ass. Playing the video games from the past that suck ass. Oh, there's XP? Wait, what? This one has XP. Yeah, dude, I'll... Oh my god, you're ready to level up. Oh my god, fat, shoot fire, fast fire. Unlock that. Oh, unlock that. Oh my god. He's fucking awesome. An STP reactivated would be awesome. We do them on the Patreon like all the time. They're not as, uh, they're not edited though. Like, like heavy edited like the channel, but they're still pretty funny, I think. Astro, would you ever play the game Gone Home? That sounds cute. I I've never heard of that. K-Tex, you be the tier one. It is Che Guevara, monkey. You're actually so fucking right. Holy shit. You are so fucking right. Let's get faster shooting on this bad boy, huh? Let's get a long range boomerang monkey on that one, huh? Yeah. No, I love playing easy games because I don't—I literally don't have to think. This game literally is requiring no mental effort. I'm just clicking buttons. There's no strategy. <laughs> it's just fucking awesome. It's just pure dopamine. No one can stop me. I'm just playing this. There's nothing to be learned or gained. <laughs> I'm just having fun. This is what balloons do to a motherfucker. Um... Yeah, fast ass boomerang. I lo like why are monkey based games so good? Like super monkey ball balloons. Like ma monkeys are just awesome. Bigger globs, dude. Globule gun. Holy shit! Can coat two balloons per shot. Glue soaks through all layers of balloon. I'm getting glue soak. You can change the like priority of what they're shooting. That's fucking way too much thinking. Let's get even faster tax on that. Wait, I can upgrade it with XP. Blade shooter. Oh my God. Does that shoot blades? This game's fucking crazy. I know, imagine if you replaced the glue with another transparent liquid, that'd be fucking wild. Astro, is college worth it? I think that depends on you. For some people it is. Depends on your path in life. You know? That's such a subjective question. It really is. It's really hard to answer. How do I pass my CSI class? Oh my god. Is that balloon invincible? They don't know how to shoot it because it's camouflaged. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just gonna go through. That is so sad. What do I do about that? How do I shoot that? Am I just fucked? 
I need the night vision goggles. Okay, I gotta sell something. I gotta sell something, I think. Sell this monkey. Get the night vision goggles. Now we can shoot through the camo balloons. They are fucked. This game reminds me of Ligma. <laughs> What's Ligma? <laughs> hey, new shirt. Astro, what should I do if the police found out I'm smuggling 15 pounds of crack through makeshift plushies? Your username is Gustavo Fring. That's pretty funny. That's a good character. I like that character. Ice Monkey. What does this guy do? Well, I fucking want Ice Monkey. Is, does he only go in that radius? Because if so, that seems like really bad. Or does he like freeze things from far away? I think he just does freezing like right there. That seems horrible. You ever feel like a need to roll down a hill? I honestly wish I could do that. Yeah. That's all I've been waiting for. Level up. Oh my god. I can unlock a thing. Monkey village. Increase ranges of all monkeys. Banana farm. Banana farm. Oh my god, I need the banana farm. Holy shit. That is so good. I need to get banana farm. How am I doing mentally? Holy crap, what a deep question. I don't want to answer that. Wizard monkey. Ooh. Where did I put this guy? You don't like monkey farm? Why are you saying no? Monkey farm's fucking awesome. I can't place this guy anywhere that's like good. I, I gotta save money up. I gotta save money up for the monkey farm. Grilled cheese versus quesadilla. They're both so good. How could I possibly pick? That's like just an impossible choice. Maybe quesadilla, yeah. Cool, cause I feel like, I feel like I just like more tortillas more than bread. So that's why I would pick quesadilla. That's like the only reason though. Also quesadilla is often, okay, if you give me the average grilled cheese versus the average quesadilla, I think the quesadilla would be better. But that's like, that's just not saying much. Cause like most people, when they make grilled cheese, it's literally just like two pieces of bread, cheddar cheese. But you can make like a crazy quesadilla. Have like you ever had like, or uh, sorry, uh, grilled cheese. Have you ever had like an ultimate grilled cheese where it's got like three different cheeses and like a bunch of like veggies or like some people put like bacon in it. Like that's pretty fucking good. But most grilled cheeses are just literally two pieces of bread and a piece of cheese. And that is pretty boring. I think Snow Monkey fucking sucks. I'm buying a monkey farm. So does this only affect like the things next to it? Oh shit, what did that say? No, I needed to read that. I actually needed to read that. What did that say? Oh, good God. G generates bananas each round that converts into game money. Oh my. I don't know what it said. It's putting it's putting bananas on the. What does that do? Do I have to click them? I do. I have to. I have to fucking put my mouse over there. This is a clicker game now. Oh my god, metal balloon. Was that it? That was the whole round. This game's fucking easy. I want wizard monkey really badly. So he's going there. Intense magic. That's fucking crazy. Guided magic. I'm getting that. That's fucking wild. Double click the play button to speed up. No, I want to watch them. I want to watch them like go all across the screen. It's fun. It's relaxing. No, I've not played Suica Watermelon game. I want to so bad. I keep seeing people play that. I need to play that. That game is fucking awesome. What does the druid do? Whoa. Oh, I can increase the range. There we go. Fuck yeah. Unlock that. Boom. 
Dude, my- actually, my monkeys are unstoppable. I have literally, like, Planet of the Apes squad. Like, I have, like, King Caesar on my team. Oh, I gotta fucking click the bananas. Have you ever done an art stream? Yeah, I've done art streams before. I did one recently. I didn't- I did- I just, like, randomly was drawing and I felt like streaming it, so I was like, fuck it. But I didn't do any, uh, audio, like, I just- it was just music. So it was more of, like, a chill vibe. But... I've done, like, drawing streams in the past where I, like, talk over it, too. But I don't like it, it's so stressful. Monkey Ace. Yeah, that's- I'm fucking buying that, you know I'm fucking buying Monkey Ace. That is fucking awesome. You ever thought of music streams? It's it's hard to set up. Um, I, I don't understand. I literally, it's it's a this doesn't happen very often, but sometimes something is just too technologically confusing to me, and I just give up. And that's one of them. I I don't understand how to get it to work, because it's like. FL Studio is like using like a different audio thing and it you can't like it wouldn't let me capture with OBS basically and uh, someone uh, people have tried like giving me tutorials on like how to figure it out and I just can't figure it out that's like just an area that I just don't understand <laughs> so I just give up but one day Stressful, why does it make you feel self-conscious? Yeah, I think drawing, like, while people are watching makes me feel, uh, feel self-conscious for sure. I'm a pretty, pretty self-conscious person. Pretty, pretty scared of, of people. I want the pirate monkey. I want the fucking pirate monkey. Oh, he has to go in the fucking water. That sucks. That sucks so much. I'm gonna put a fucking plane monkey down. Let's fucking go. God, those things are just- I want those all over the screen. That makes the game so much better. Should I get into photography? I, uh, photography, I feel like I have a good pic- Dude, yeah! Get into photography, you'd be awesome at it. Oh god, I'm fucked. There's a million camo balloons, and my monkeys don't know how to hit them. Except for the one sniper. I'm actually screwed. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! This is, uh, this is horrible. Shoot the camos! Come on! Here we go! Oh, I might actually do it. I might actually beat it. I saved it at the last moment. I I saved it by upgrading my other my my sniper. I actually did it. Didn't I do it? I didn't take any damage, right? Get ninjas? Okay. Well, they, they get the camouflage monkeys? Where are my ninjas? Where are my ninjas at? Oh, there they are. These guys know how to fuck with the camouflage? Alright, next time I get some... When I get the money, I'm gonna buy a ninja monkey. You guys are so smart. Hope you're ready for round 40. Don't scare me. I'm gonna put a ninja monkey right here. And he's gonna fucking go crazy on him. I even wanna upgrade his range. Yes. Slay. Oh yeah. He did a fucking ninjutsu. He did a Naruto move. Did you see that? Can you guys see my curse on the screen? Yeah. Dude. Fuck. I might get a... What does an alchemist monkey do? That's kind of cool. I have no idea what anything's even doing. I'm just clicking buttons. K-Tex. Or no, Acid Peaches. Thank you for the resub. A burger. Everyone type burger in chat. Why am I a weeb? Because I like the ninja monkey? Because I respect art. Like Naruto. <laughs> Naruto's peak. I don't even care. I don't even care who hears it. Oh my god, I can get another monkey farm in a second. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It's so much money, I should just, like, be beefy. I'll get a fucking mortar. 
I'll get two fucking mortars. How are you gonna deal with that? Holy shit. This is fucking World War Five. Oh my... Okay, they're really inaccurate though. They like don't know how to hit the balloons. They're like missing every time. Hit the fucking balloons! What are you shooting at? What are you doing? Oh, they're only shooting right there. Okay, we need to set the targets. This is the spot where the most balloons are going to be at any given time. So we shoot right there. Sienna, thank you for the tier one. Okay, they're not hitting anything now, though. Maybe I need to have one of them shoot at the beginning of the level. Like right here. That's fucking sick. That is like a fucking... Reddest Rosa? Oh my god. They give her the fucking five gifted. That's so sweet. And Sage Moon with the Prime. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. I don't deserve that. You're going quantity over quality right now? Yeah, but isn't that fucking awesome? Look how many bombs I'm dropping. I'm like Obama. Superhero monkey. Superhero fucking monkey. Are you kidding me? Fucking superhero monkey. Superman monkey. Super monkey. Oh my god. He's like a Gatling gun. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude. It's like fucking Homelander. He's like a Gat. What was my hardest college class? Uh, honestly, once it got up into the, like, some of the harder tier computer science algorithm classes, I just fucking checked out. Like, straight up, I just phoned it in. Like, I knew how to pass. Like, I was good at- I'm good enough at- at school to just figure out how to pass things. So I don't know what that means about me. So, like, I'm fine. Like, it wasn't stressful, but I didn't understand any of it. I was just kind of winging it in those classes. You think I'm a nerd? Honestly, I wasn't doing any work. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> like, when I got, like, to algorithms classes, there was, like, two algorithms classes I took. I just didn't do anything. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, I wasn't getting a good grade, but I was able to pass it. Like, it wasn't hard. But it was, like, I didn't understand it. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I had no interest in it either. Like, it was so fucking boring. So, I got a- I think I got a C in one of them and a B in the other. And I didn't- I don't fucking get them. I still don't understand. There was, like, whole units. They are like, talking about, like, graphs and, like, maps, and I'm like, I don't fucking understand. I give up. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop boop. Ice Monkey. We're trying out Ice Monkey now. I want to see Ice Monkey. Oh my god, I have 3,000 fucking money. Laser Blasts. <laughs> fucking Laser Blasts. Are you kidding me? Super range. It's not even fucking... Oh my god, he's actually Homelander. Did your capstone project go chat? Dude, my capstone project? <laughs> Dude, you want to know something funny? My capstone project in, in this is so me. This is this describes me perfectly. My capstone project for computer science was a video game. And I did the art. I didn't even code. I didn't do a single line of code. I did the art for the game and the music. That just that sums up my entire that sums up my life right there. Victory. Astro. Head detective. 216 camo balloons popped. That's fucking sick. I'm fucking awesome. Hell yeah, Electricity Octopus. Who's my favorite SpongeBob character? Um. Uh. I don't know, actually. It's hard to pick. I think I like Gary. I like Gary and I, I like Plankton. I like Gary and Plankton a lot, I think. I think Plankton gets me to laugh the most. I think I think Plankton is the funniest to me. And then Gary is just cute. Okay, what do I do? What does this mean? Free play? 
Oh, I can just keep going? I want to do a different map. How do I do a different map? Home. I've never seen the Spongebob musical, but isn't Ariana Grande dating like the Spongebob musical guy? Oh, okay, I d so I did that one on easy, so I got a little, uh, I got a little award. Okay, let's beat them all on easy. I want to get all the awards. This game rock- dude, in the loop? It's like a fall setting? All that hard work gone? What? What did I do? Do I have a least favorite of Spongebob? Um... I don't really like Patrick like in the newer seasons, I think. I think he was funny in the- in the beginning. But now they make him like too... Like too stupid. You know what I mean? Like it's just haha -ha dumb. Which I feel like he had more personality back in the day. So maybe Patrick, modern Patrick. Okay, let's get a thumbtack machine. And then, I mean, you gotta get a monkey. You gotta get a monkey. This map's kind of interesting. There's a little piece of water. That's where we put the submarine. Like that those billionaires died in. Fuck Plankton? Come on, dude. Plankton's so fucking cool. He's fucking funny. He's like trying so hard. And he just can't fucking make it. It's literally like allegory. It's an allegory for real life. You could just never compete. Ever since Steven Hillenberg died, they destroyed the SpongeBob name and did everything he stayed away from. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I also don't fucking watch like SpongeBob anymore. You know, like I haven't watched it since I was a kid. So I'm kind of just a, a poser here. On this issue. You think all the SpongeBob guys don't like the AI covers using their vocals? I'm not sure, actually. I never thought about that. Because I kind of think those are funny. But I wonder if they... Yeah, they don't like that. I don't know. That's like the only thing AI is good for. Is like a funny video every once in a while. In my opinion. Like, I think some of the funny, uh, like, AI voice ones are, are silly. Or, like, the Joe Biden playing Minecraft. But, like, everything else, like, for, like, serious practical uses, it doesn't really seem to actually do anything. That's, uh, that important or good. But for memes? Fucking, fucking awesome. That is sad, Krim Sakura. That is sad. I don't think it will, though. I actually don't. I, I don't think it will. I have hope. I have. I have optimism. I think you can't actually replicate how good. There's there's a human element that that AI cannot fucking get, and no one can convince me otherwise. When when you see AI art, you know instantly it's AI art. Even if it looks fucking really good. Like, I've even- I've honestly seen it. Maybe people won't usually say this, but I've seen AI art that looks, like, technically impressive. Like, you're like, oh shit, like, that's really crazy. Like, it's really detailed. Like, it's beautiful landscape or something. But you just know. Like, when you look at it, you're like, this is soulless. Like, the, no matter what, it's always soulless. It never has, like, a human element to it, and you can just tell. I guarantee if I showed- if I showed like a 10 images, like five of them are randomly are AI, five of them aren't. And they're even like the same style. You would, you would know which one was AI. You would know all five that are AI, 100%. You can just tell. They're soulless. Yeah, I agree, Kaya. Yeah, hopefully they do. It's cool that people are fucking striking, man. People are standing up for themselves. That's always good. Yeah, you can always just pinpoint the AI, and at least in my opinion. Maybe maybe it's just me, but if I see it, I just know. Do, 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 
I should probably like upgrade some monkeys maybe. Like maybe we do like quick shots. Let's uh let's get yeah, more attacks. Art warm-up ideas, you could draw a octopus. I like to draw octopus or octopi. Because I really like the tentacles. I think it's a really fun exercise. Because the tentacles, like, you can kind of bend them in different ways, and then you have to think about how the suction cups are going to, like, bend around the, uh, the tentacle. And that can be a really fun exercise. I like drawing octopus or octopi because of that. The tentacles are fun. Do I sound crazy? No, no. Dude, they're really good animals. I love octopi. Octopi? I want to say octopuses, but it sounds so wrong. Faster shooting. I don't know why, but I really love the little tack shooter. I think that's my favorite one. There's something nice about it. There's something satisfying. It just makes me feel happy. The tentacles are fun to draw. Try, try drawing tentacles. It's fun. Fuck yeah, yeah, I agree. That's fucking true. Balloon monkey. I put the balloon monkey right there. What day is it? Saturday? Did you guys do anything cool this week? Did you get up to trouble? Do anything interesting? Am I a drawer? You mean like a drawer? Or someone who draws. Do, do, do. Get another tax shit. I fucking love these things. You went to a party with your roommates? That rocks. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to do that, but I respect that you enjoy doing that. Assumedly. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. <laughs> Damn, Kai, fuck. You watch Snowpiercer? Yeah, that's a really good movie, uh, Red Law. That's the one with the cockroach bars, right? I went to a amusement park with my mom. Yo, fuck yeah, that actually rocks. One of the best days you had in a long time. That's fucking sick to hear. You ate a thin crust pizza? That's the best kind of pizza. Literally, best kind of pizza. Did I draw the stream layout? No, that was Acid Peaches, the extremely talented, amazing Acid Peaches, who is in the chat right now and should be praised and heralded as the as the ultimate artist. They should be like literally bowed down to, like it should be like a Jesus Christ moment. Like we should all throw away any religious tendencies that we have and bow down to the God of art in the chat right now. Acid Peaches. Actually insane artist. Literally insane. Insane. Glue gun. Oh no, you know what? I I think it's time to get a sniper monkey. I really do. I think we have to have we have to be prepared for camo. SXMB, thank you. Blessed be. How many subs do we have? I've gotten a a, a nice little cluster of subs, thank you. Dude, should I just stream more without a face cam? If I don't do a face cam, I would stream more. Honestly. I would. If I just didn't care about anything, I would stream all the time. I would stream every day. There's so many like standards that I feel like I have to like hold myself to. It's so much pressure, you know? I don't know why. Spike factory. That's kind of fun. I just get so scared. I'm like, oh, like if I don't do a face cam, like no one's gonna watch it. So like I have to do a face cam, but then if I do a face cam, it takes like hours because I want to like wear makeup because I don't want to look like crappy, you know? But then I'm like, oh, like, you know, like, oh, but I gotta play like a really fun game. Like it's gotta be like really engaging or else like no one's gonna watch, you know? So then I'm like, oh, so I can't play like, you know, something boring. And then, I'm, then you know, it's just like, it's too much thought put into it. Harney speaks, thanks for the tier one.
It's too much mental process. Thank you, animal. Wait, Meepers is here? Did you say Meepers is here? Splendid Meepers is really talented. They're like, really fucking talented. Hey, Necroma, thank you. I don't think so. I don't think I'm awesome. I think I suck. I wish I thought I was awesome. I would be powerful. I would be very powerful if I thought I was awesome. Okay. Um. Camo balloons. I need that. Good question, but any thoughts on Jack Stauber? Jack Stauber is like so fucking talented. That guy's gotta be like one of the most talented uh, like indie musicians. Anyone else agree? I feel like honestly, he actually doesn't get enough love. That's one of those cases where it's like, I don't even listen to that much Jack Stauber, to be honest. But whenever I do hear it, I'm like, this is just so fucking good. Like this is like a creative, like a literal creative mastermind. Like I'm not even joking. I actually feel like he deserves more respect. I, I think the his visual style is very impressive. I think that that's, that's something that a lot of musicians don't really get. Like, they might make, like... And it doesn't matter either way. Whatever works. I'm not judging, but... I think a lot of music's... A lot of music has, like... It'll sound really good, but doesn't have, like, an interesting visual element to it. Which is fine. But Jack Stauber's also has, like, a... There's, like, a visual element to it. Like, his, vis his visual art is very good, in my opinion. Maybe that's what I like the most about Jack Stauber is his vis visual art. Like, the claymation and, like, those, um... Short videos like he used to make. I think those are like... Literally visionary shit. Am I wrong for that? Favorite artist? Oh my god, like visual artist? Whew, there's so many. I'm really inspired by Zach Hill. Of Death Grips. I think that he doesn't get praised enough for his visual art. I'm really into visual art. And I think that, like, uh, it doesn't have, like, a big mainstream appeal right now. Because people are more into, like, music and movies and whatnot. But I think I think visual art is, is a very cool medium that I wish more people were into. Because, like, he, he posts uh, stuff on Instagram. And I don't know, maybe he doesn't even think much of it, but he'll just do, like, random shit. Like, he'll fucking, like take a banana and like fill it with pin like pin uh thumbtacks and then just take a picture of it and like post it on instagram like it's shit like that it's like just weird visual art where he's like finding shit around the house and just making weird shit and he seems like he's just having fun and i really respect that amon 462 thank you for the two one thanks stop it. of all the animals creatures in the animal kingdom dragonflies have the highest successful kill rate of 97 yeah dragonflies are fucking crazy they're so cool but yeah, Zach Hill, I think is my favorite visual artist. But there's also a lot of painters that I really respect. I also thought Kurt Cobain was a really good visual artist. Something that, like a lot of people focus on his music writing abilities and his unique singing style, uh, which are both really good. But I think he was a brilliant visual artist. Like I think like the art around In Utero and like some of his paintings are like really amazing. I also really like this, uh, I think he's a Polish painter. I've never known how to say his name, but it's, uh, like, Zdzisław Beksinski or something like that. Made really haunting, surrealist paintings that I've always really been interested in. There's probably so many more visual artists that I can't, that I can't think of right now, but those are some that come to mind. Oh, I think Edmund McMillan is a really brilliant visual artist. The game designer of uh, the Binding of Isaac, and there's also a lot of um, anime, like animators that I think have really, like I think uh, Imaishi, who designed, I think designed a lot of the characters to Kill I Kill, uh, is like a brilliant designer. He draws like these big, like fucking um, muscly guys that are like his his sense of scale 
and uh, dynamic art is really impressive. McMinty guy, thank you for the prime. I don't know, there's a lot of artists I respect. I could probably go on for days talking about art. It's just something I'm uh, really into. Okay, Bisco, I gotta look into that. I've actually never heard of that painter. Well, hey, I'm doing it right now, animal. But yeah, I should I should make like an in-depth video about it or something. I don't know, it'd be so hard. That'd be like such an open-ended video. Okay, chat, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back, okay? Give me like a minute. I might be like a minute or two. I'm actually also gonna eat. Hey, I'm back. Dude, I just ate some fucking good ass food. Holy shit. That was so good. Philomenes. Thank you for the tier one. And Mick Minty Guy, did I shout that out before I left? I don't remember. Thank you, Mick Minty Guy, if I forgot you. I had a tofu bowl. I had like a sesame, Szechuan, like tofu bowl. It was fucking really good. Okay, you might not understand. Maybe you're not into tofu. But it was yummy for me, and I had a good time. So that's my uh, TED talk. Thank you for listening. Back to the monkey. Faster shooting, more attacks. Hit me with the play. How did I eat the vest? I literally scarfed it down because I felt so bad about being gone. <laughs> I was like, fuck, like, I don't want to be gone for too long. Everyone's going to be so boring and they're going to hate me. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to scarf this down really fast. So I ate it and like, I think I ate it there in like two minutes. I think I barely chewed it. And uh, now I'm here. All right, I'm going to put the monkey right here. Press play. I need to save up for a monkey farm. Take your time. We can entertain ourselves. Dude, I get so fucking scared. That's what you have to understand about me. I'm a fucking neurotic freak. I'm literally just scared of everyone. That's just my brain. Um, okay, boomerang. Um, hmm. I'll put the boomerang right here, yes. I need to save up. I keep buying these. I gotta save up. I gotta get the monkey farm. I'm not buying anything until I get the monkey farm. Actually, wait. I could get Super Monkey. He's literally fucking crazy. Maybe I get Super Monkey. Oh, maybe I get Ninja. Because I need the camo. Never mind. We're getting Ninja. There we go, Naruto. Hit it. Why'd you type iPhone in the chat? We can look at iPhone while we wait. Oh, um, you guys can do that? When I'm out in public, I don't really look at my phone like as much as other people do. I've noticed that. I'm always like, damn, everyone's on their phone right now. Like I'll be like in public, I'll just be like, what the fuck? Everyone's on their phone. <laughs> I'm like, why am I not on my phone? And sometimes I'll take it out to like be on the phone too. I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm um, I'm addicted to the internet, for sure. Like, desktop. I'm on my computer, like, pretty much all day. Most days. <laughs> but, for some reason, the phone. Like, if I'm out. I think of when I'm out, I just don't want to be on the internet. You know? It's like, I want to be gone from it. You're the same way? Like, you're on the computer all day? How many of you are just on the computer all day? I feel like Twitch, in particular, has a lot of people that do that are like that. Cause that's how I am. Cause I feel like, um, I'm really on, like, I, I always have like a Twitch stream open pretty much either that or music. And I like a lot of streamers, whereas I don't really watch YouTube videos. And I feel like Twitch like meets, meets that niche of people who are just really online. And so they, they're like, they have ADHD, and so they need to have something on the on the side. 
while they do other things. I feel like that's a lot of people. Is that you guys or are you different? Are you like, are there any of you that are different or is that, is that the same? Y'all need a job? This is my job. That's you? How many people are that? So far only one person. Maybe that's just me. Me and dog. You can't multitask at all? Okay, so like when you're watching the stream, you're literally just watching the stream and that's it? Like that's all you're doing? Like when you're, are there people that are watching right now that are, that's all they're doing? Is that a thing that people are doing? Or are there things you're doing at the same time? It, okay, in the type chat, I'm multitasking or yeah, type I'm multitasking or I'm not multitasking. I want to poll. I want to pull the chat. Say, not multitasking or multitasking. I am multitasking, multitasking, multitasking. I'm not multitasking, not multitasking. I'm about to multitask. Multitasking, not, I'm not. It's kind of split. Holy shit. It's kind of split. I think there's more multitasking than not. I think there's more. That makes sense to me. But there was a lot of people that are. I respect that. That means you're like, I wonder, I wonder what that means, actually. It can mean a lot of things. I think for me, I just need something on in the background to like keep me grounded. Because if I don't have something on in the background, I'm a, like alone with my thoughts and I think I hate that. So I think that's why I do it. Oh, you get overwhelmed doing too much? That's very fair. Yeah. Yeah, I need to be just I need to be distracted. Yeah, I'm often like watching a video or usually a stream like while I'm doing something else like working or playing a game. Well, if I'm writing a script, I need to be listening to music. I can't, the stream is too distracting, but for a lot of things, I'll just have a stream on. Hmm. I don't even know what to do in the game. Let me upgrade this guy. Really quick shots. Even more tax. Tax sprayer. <laughs> Holy shit. I like how I just put all my monkeys right at the beginning of the level. <laughs> I literally just have like, I did this last round too. I just put like 40 monkeys at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Is that how you're supposed to play? Is that normal? Oh, zebra monkeys contain a white and a black at the same time. Okay. Let's get the wizard monkey. You can do anything? See, this game is for little babies, huh? Is that what it is? Hey, I'm on easy mode, that's why. Thank you, fish pie. I hope you sleep well. <laughs> yeah, do not walk into my map. You will die. If you even set f fucking step of one foot onto my monkey island, you will get blasted. Ha, <laughs> I'm a baby. Drawing is deception for me because my audio will end and it will legit take me over an hour to notice sometimes. Oh, because you get like so hyper focused on the drawing. That fucking rocks. That is so sick. That is actually cool. Druid monkey. Thorn swarm. <laughs> Thorn swarm. All right. Uh-oh, metal balloon. I think my theory, my fucking strategy might be foiled. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. Chat. But wait, they have to go through the final stage. At the very bottom, they're gonna have to run into 40 million monkeys. And that's gonna be it. They're not gonna be able to take that pressure. <laughs> Boo womp. <laughs> Just you wait. Look at this. Any moment now, they're gonna crack. Watch. They're not gonna be able to take this pressure. Right? 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 Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh no! Or nor. Uh oh. Okay. What do I do about metal balloons? Do I need a spike factory? Is that what I need? I think I need a spike factory. Just you wait until I get the fucking spike factory. Check this out. I need explosions? I need explosions. Oh, so I need a plane. Okay. Well, either way, no metal balloons this time, I think. So we're probably set. I need Obama. Oh, I need mortar monkey. You're saying I need mortar. Okay, I'll get mortar monkey. My next one will be mortar monkey. Just you wait. Oh shit, it's happening now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's happening now. Get the mortar monkey. Let's fucking go. Oh shit, but I'm gonna need him. I'm gonna need him aiming. Dude, this is actually getting hard. I'm gonna need him aiming right here. That's how you do it. Oh my god, you, you, actually, you guys are actually fucking right. And now it's easy. Okay. I've got it set now. We'll have mortar right there. We'll have him on faster reload. They don't stand a chance. Mortar will do, however, inconsistent. Do you think it's inconsistent? I think it was fucking destroying the competition. It wasn't even close. That was like actually... I would trust the mortar with my life. Never been a mortar head? Well, guess what? You just met the mortar head. I'm the mortar head. I fucking love the mortar. I'm mort pilled. I'm a mort cell. And and you know what? I'm gonna buy another one. Yeah. Hey, what about that? I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? Yeah, right there. Boom. This is god tier gaming. No, no, not a waste of money. It's it's mortacular. You guys just wish you loved uh you you had a relationship with the mortar like I do. Mortars only work on choke points. Where do you think I got this one aiming? You saw one camo balloon back on round twenty four. Hope you're ready for more. Oh shit. Uh oh. We gotta bring in the big guns. We gotta bring in the bomb shooter. We need the fucking- we need a fast reload on the bomb shooter. It'll catch up to you? <laughs> nope. Gaming. You just don't get my strategy. Wait, is there an invisible balloon? What's happening? What's happening right now? Fruity Tootie Patootie. Thank you. For the Prime Gaming. Holy shit, everyone should give me their Prime. What was that at the end? These streams are awesome. Oh, thank you. Have I played Blooms before? I guess I have streamed this before, haven't I? I kind of thought this was the first time I streamed it. This is the best game. This is just a certified classic. Strategy doesn't matter on easy? That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's the type of game I want to play. So you nerds aren't like, mm, you're not doing it right. I just want no pressure, just fucking kill the balloons. I'm gonna get that bronze medal and everything. Dude, I love that username. Goon934. That is sick. We need a Madden stream. I'd get four viewers. 
That would be fucking crazy. A Madden stream. Oh my god. I'm getting a pirate. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm getting a pirate. And I'm gonna get another fucking sniper too. And you know I gotta get that glue gun. I'd watch anything you stream. That is very kind. I don't know why you would do such a thing. I don't understand why anyone likes me. Do, do, do. Easy clap. This is actually gaming. You can't tell me I'm doing a bad job. You do not give a fuck about balloons. <laughs> That's fair. Marvel Jays, look at the prime. So authentic? What do you mean so authentic? What does that mean? I'm getting another plan. You know how much brain space you occupy? What does that mean? Sharper darts? I'm all up in the brain space. I'm all up in your brain space. Oh yeah. I have 100 hours in this game and you're doing good? Holy shit, I'm fucking awesome. I'm getting another mortar. No one can fucking stop me. <laughs> Holy shit. Mortar time. Do you see this? I mean, it's like actually insane. It's literally... A <laughs> I'm, I'm more than Obama at this point. I'm just the United States. Have I played the other ones, like balloons in general? I played balloons when I was a kid. Like, you know, like the original, like, flash balloons. And I always thought it was fun as fuck. It's a- it's honestly a- a classic. Oh, metal balloons? You think that fucking scares me? Good joke. Wait, we've been doing Sleep Drive for three years, Animal? Is that true? Oh my god. Is that real? Is that like today only or what? Like, is it three years on the dot? Really? That's fucking awesome. Sleep Deprived has changed my life, honestly. I, uh, I owe a lot to it. Stuff they like just it's made me a just a lot happier of a person, I think. I gotta tweet something on the Sleep Deprived account. Yeah, I do. I do. What should I tweet? What does Engineer Monkey do? I don't even know. I'm just gonna buy it. Whoa, what is Engineer Monkey doing? That's so cool that we've been doing it for three years. It, it's literally changed my life. Like, I, I really do like our uh, our community. There are like so, uh, some freakers. There's people that are a little edgy for me. For the most part, everyone is so, so chill. And I think what I like the most about our community is that we are so authentic. I think there are a lot of communities that aren't as authentic and real. That's how I feel. Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn monkey? Okay. Yeah. Show me what you're about. Ha! 
October 28th, 2020, Jim Halper joined the pod. That's fucking crazy. It's funny because Sleep Deprived re revived in the same way it started, which was just on a whim. And I think that represents how real it is, you know? There's not too much pressure, which is nice. It's just, it's just a very real thing. Like I was literally just one day, I was like, hey Schlatt, what if we literally just did sleep deprived again? And he was like, I'm down. And then we just did it. That's literally how we revived it. I literally just DM Schlatt, I was like, what if we did it? And he was like, I'm down. And I was like, Mika Panda, what if we just did this? And they're like, I we're down. And then we just fucking did it. Isn't that crazy? Heli pilot. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's this guy going? Wait, do I control it? Oh, that's a lot of responsibility. Alright. I'm literally controlling a helicopter. I feel like I'm playing Call of Duty. Wow, easiest fucking game of my life. Um, middle of the road. I've never played this one. I need to do art for three years? Like, what do you mean? For like college or just for fun? Okay. This is a weird map. I don't know if I like this. This is kind of freaking me out. I think you put Glend Gwendolyn on the corner and you just see what happens. Oh my god, she shoots a fucking fireball. Oh, the three-year anniversary. I see. By the way, I want Lilac Boy pins plus purple shirt so bad, but the shipping is like 15. I'm poor. Should I die? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is expensive. It is expensive sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I can't really do anything about the shipping side of things because I'm not really the one shipping it, unfortunately. Maybe it's because of where you are and like the thing that you're getting. Some of them, some of them on there are like cheaper to like ship to the US, but like not as cheap elsewhere. But then some things are like cheap in the in Europe as well. But it kind of depends on the item and like where the distributor is. Unfortunately, I wish it was like, I wish there was a place that was good for like had really good quality and just they had distributors like all around the world, you know, but then, then it would probably be really expensive actually. Cause they, <laughs> then you'd have to pay for that, you know? So I don't know. It's tough. It's tough out here. New analog post. Let's go. Oh, I haven't seen that animal. I gotta see that. Fuck yeah. This map looks like the Twin Tower. <laughs> no, you're just, you're just funny. All right. Fuck Amazon, by the way. So true. So fucking true. All right. Did you hear her do that? She went, all right. You know, we gotta get that tax shooter. You know, we gotta get that tax shooter. Twitch moderation, this is a joke? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, thanks, Ghost Boy. I'm sorry it's expensive. I'll put a monkey there. They're starting to get away from me a little bit in this map. This map seems kind of challenging. You're eating buttered popcorn right now? You're about to watch the FNAF movie? Are you at the movie theater right now? <laughs> that's the third type of viewer we didn't talk about. The viewer that's out in public at the movie theater watching Western. I didn't factor that in. I should talk about Jezebel Gebergably more. I, uh, I really like what I've heard of Jezebel Gebergably. Like I've heard uh, a couple albums, I think. And they're really good. But I'm not an expert. 
I need to become more of an expert, huh? I wish I could collab with people like Jezebel Gabergably. I'm always scared to do stuff like that. Like if I just like, you know, DM'd like, yo, love your music. We should make music sometime. You think that'd be weird? I get scared that that would be weird. Yeah, that's a real artist. There's an artist, her name is Jezebel Gabergably. And she makes fucking awesome shit. A lot of people probably think it's a bit, right? Because it sounds so silly, but no, it's a real artist. Unlike Samfa. <laughs> Blue gun. Well, yeah, I mean, that's probably their stage name. Yeah, I don't think that's like their real name. <laughs> Maybe it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How do artists collab? Do they just like start, start, start flirting or straight up ask? Yeah, I don't know. It is kind of weird, right? Because it's like, it's hard to like reach out to people because you don't want to be annoying. But it's also like if you never do that, like yeah, you'll never meet anyone. That's really the problem, huh? Yeah, Panda is a figment of all of our imaginations. I don't know. I do know signed artists have their managers to do it. That's fair. That's fair. Fired up. She, she said fired up. I think I'm cooking here. I think I'm really cooking. It's cool that there's like a line of sight. With the with all the buildings. That's kinda sick. If you get big as a musician, do you think you'd sign or stay indie? I don't know. I've thought about it a lot. I would love to just stay indie, I think. But it's like it's one of those things, right? Like I assume people only ever sign to not go indie because they get offered money, right? Like any artist that ever signs, it's because they're, it's because you're getting money, right? I don't know how that shit even works. Or is it literally just promotion? Either way, I've always done everything indie. So I would love to keep it that way. But it's also, you know... It's hard. There's little reasons to sign nowadays if you know how to promote. Yeah, that's what I would think, right? Because it's mostly for promotion. So I feel like if you're already kind of there at the stage where you can like afford promotion, like maybe where I'm at, then might as well just keep going. Yeah, maybe you're right. Gets too much to handle on their own. That's true. That's true. Like for like a really big artist, that it might be tough without some some representation in some some regard. But I don't know. There's a lot of big artists that are still indie. Peggy, I think Peggy's indie now, right? Death Grips are indie. They're pretty big. I think with the internet, not like a, people are able to be more indie in, in general, in all facets of art. I need a Frank Jeffsy Lilac Bug point collab at some point. That'd be so cool. Awesome. I don't know if I don't know if Frank Jeffsy likes me, but I think they're cool. I respect how just free they seem. They seem like they. They seem just like a free and uh, honest personality, which I very, very much respect.
What does the fucking engineer even do? I don't understand him. What does he do? I think what sucks about collabing is like, there's a lot of people that would probably like, there's a lot of people that like don't collab with people who are smaller than them, <clears throat> which is like very weird. I guess like to me, I feel like when I hear like good music, I, I guess I just, I, I think about whether it's good or not instead of like how uh, popular it would be. Like I did a collab with some like random person on my discord server one time. Um, their, their music name is Crow Void. And if you go on Spotify, you just search Crow Void. And I did a song with them because they, they just sent an instrumental. I thought it was really fucking good. And I was like, yo, I'll sing over that. And then we just, we made it into a song. And I still think it sounds pretty good. But like, uh, you know, Crow Void's obviously like much smaller than me. So it's like, I don't know. To me, like the size doesn't really matter. I just like want to make good shit. Yeah, walk out, yeah. Boomerang monkey. Oh, really, Ghost Boy? That's nice. Frank Jeff C is awesome. I like he gave me some of my early exposure. Like, uh I'm I don't know if he's like the exact reason I'm big, but he's definitely one of them, right? Cuz uh he he uh shouted out I think he shouted out my videos. I think. I don't really remember. He shouted out something of mine cuz I think I think he liked the like, art that I made. Um cuz I made fan art of him, I think. Cuz I liked Frank Jeffs's videos and his music. And he shouted me out and gave me a little boost and it was really cool. It was like one of my first like first little bits of exposure and then like a couple months later I just like blew up. So I definitely think like he helped get the ball rolling. So that was really nice of him. I really respect that honestly because I don't think a lot of people do that. I, I tried to do... I tried to do that more back in the day. But I should do it more. I try to do it with art. I try to really respond to people on art that do a uh, fan art of our stuff because I feel like I can at least help out in that way, like get artists like seen a little bit. Cuz like people deserve like shout outs and shit. Yo, fuck yeah, Miss Belted. He's streaming right now? Holy shit. That's awesome. Shout out Frank. Hmm, I don't know what to buy in the game. Maybe, oh, the mortar. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Why did I even fucking think for a second it was anything else? Obviously the fucking mortar. You kidding me? Duh. Oh, not now, I see. Yeah, I know uh, Mika does a lot too to try to like um, shout out people in the uh, art community as well. Like uh, we put art at the, and Moist as well. Because I think Moist was doing that before Mika did, right? Like put art at the beginning of the podcasts. But either way, that's like a really cool way to shout out people. People just, you know, deserve some shout outs. Shy does it too, I think, uh, in like comment sections. I've seen some uh, comments where he's like, yo, check out this person's art. There's so, like, he's he does a lot of that too. I really respect that shit. Because that's how, like, that's how we all, 
that's how anyone ever makes it is by is with people like you need people so if you just like get famous and you like never shout anybody out it's like i don't know like you got there because you were shouted out usually you should give back a little bit Yeah, that's pretty cool, Lunar Plague. What's my favorite monkey? Like, in real life, I like orangutans. They're so funny. That video of the orangutan driving the golf cart is so fucking good. It's <laughs> so fucking good. I have so many monkeys. I need to upgrade them. Giving back sounds like socialism. I mean, in a way. Oh, what is my favorite monkey in the game? I think I like the sniper monkey. I think he's just doing so much for me right now. He saves me every time. No, never mind. I like the fucking mortar monkey. What am I fucking talking about? It's the mortar monkey. That's my favorite. Best fucking monkey. Rapid reload on that guy. Look at that. Oh my God, look at him. He's literally, he just fucking killed everything. Nope. Sniper, not as base as Mortar. Mortar goaded. You're mad. Look at it. Boom, 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 boom. Do you not see that? It's actually fucking insane. Bigger blast. Holy shit. Oh my god. You guys don't get it. You don't get the Mortar Monkey like I do. Get the mortar monkey like I do. Uh, I'm gonna get another mortar monkey when I can. I just got another mortar monkey. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that. Yep, I just did that. <laughs> What's up today? Good music. Mortar monkey. Oh shit. Camo. I gotta get another ninja. I gotta get another ninja. Who subscribed? Paradise of Hell. That's a fucking awesome name. Thank you so much. Oh my god, that literally served no threat to me. I'm fucking killing them before they even fucking get to my road. I have monkey money. <laughs> What's up today in good music? Please put this stream up on the boss channel, should I? Is it a good one? I don't even know. This is VOD worthy? Really? Damn. Thanks, guys. Damn, thank you, guys. That's so nice of you. I'm gonna get a plane monkey. Dude, I, there's nowhere to put it. <laughs> I'm so fucking chock full of monkeys, I got nowhere to put it. I'll put it right here. Now I'm gonna get another sniper monkey. Oh, thanks. I always get scared the VODs aren't good enough, you know? Thanks, guys. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> see this? <laughs> Mortar monkey. Put it right... Put it right here. Faster reload. Boom. Oh my god. It's like the balloons don't even exist. The mortar monkey just kills them before they have a chance. Watch this. Mortar monkey. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know what you're thinking. Four mortar monkeys? How could it possibly do anything? Well, do you see my screen right now? 
You are wasting monkey money? You don't understand monkey money. Like I do. Let's get another mortar. <laughs> oh shit. Bigger blast. Oh my god, it's like a- It's actually like fucking sick. You don't think that's awesome, chat? How can you not like the mortar? Am I actually the number one balloon streamer right now? That's really funny. I can afford another mortar. <laughs> Boo balloon buster. Pop and awe? Unlock for 32,000 XP? Oh, I don't have that much. I'm gonna get max level on my mortars. The mortar is actually crazy. See, you guys are coming around on it. I told you it's fucking awesome. First Moab class balloon next round. Don't say you weren't warned. <laughs> like I'm scared of that. Come on. I'm gonna buy a helicopter, idiot. I'm gonna get another sniper monkey too. Yeah. I'm gonna get a glue, a glue monkey. Boom. Moab! Yeah, as if that's fucking scary to me. You think I'm scared? You think I'm fucking scared? You actually think I'm scared? Not. Then I'm fucking insane. I feel like I could play this game forever. Mr. Gary, thank you. How many subs do we have? 138. Do you think we can get to 150? I don't know. Tree stump. What are you guys talking about? I remember you actually sat through the whole thing, no joke. Astro and Panda kept playing shit, lol. What are you guys talking about? Oh yeah, it's taking music. I'm selling my art and I wanna fucking... I wanna sell it for prices I feel like that are worth it, you know? So, obviously, not everyone's gonna be able to buy or pay that kind of money, but I wanna respect myself, you know? So, hopefully somebody buy, buys some. <laughs> uh, boomerang monkey. Let's do one of those. Let's not do a sniper just yet. Let's put that there. How does this work? Oh, it twists around the tree, tr tree trunk. Okay. Let's put one right there. It's okay, Kai. Dude, totally fair, Bisco. I under I totally understand. I wouldn't, uh... Don't feel guilty. You're all good. You're all good. Some rich fuck's gonna buy one. <laughs> Some rich Samaritan. Be guilty, mwahaha. I'll put it on my Santa Christmas list. Ooh. Yeah, we need to get Jeff Bezos on my shit. You think he'd buy one? Probably not. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Attack shooter. This game rocks. Convincing Musk, yeah. Mu Musk, you could you could maybe convince, yeah. You could trick him. Uh oh, a lot of balloons. This map seems hard. There's like a lot of little obstacles. I think I'm gonna upgrade, get some quick shots on some of these guys. I have played Souls games. I'm really bad at them though, so I honestly just don't enjoy them because of that. Which might sound stupid to some people, but I don't know. If like a game's too hard, it 
I just don't really want to play it. Like, what's the point? That's how I am, though. But there are games... It's not true with every type of game, though. Because there are strategy games where I have to think a little bit, and I kind of like that. I like having to think. Like, strategize. But I don't like... Uh, there's a lot of games that require, like, 3D movement and, like, hard, like, uh, hard controls. I don't like that kind of stuff. Because it just feels like I need to, like, play it a lot to, like, get the muscle memory. And I'm not, like, willing to do that, I guess. Is that fair? Is that fair? No, it's not fair. Yeah, it's fair sleep. So you like point and click games? Uh, yeah, honestly, mostly, yeah. I, I do really like games that are just like point and click. But there are some FPS games I like. But that's purely because when I was a kid, I played a lot of FPS games. So I like have some skill in them, right? Not a lot, but enough to like be okay at them. Also, it's like a social thing, so it's kind of different. But I like like uh, games where, yeah, like the only control is just keyboard or just mouse, honestly. Like uh, Slay the Spire or like Dicey Dungeons or The Legend of Bumbo. Or like, uh, like Civilization. I like that game. I also like a fucking, uh, I like chess. I play a lot of chess online. I played FNAF on stream one time. I literally, it it was too funny. I, it was like funny to me. I couldn't stop laughing. I play, I think I have the, the video up somewhere. Like on my, uh, on my Astros' live channel. Which I don't upload on anymore. But, uh... It, I think I have it up on there. If you search like Five Nights at Freddy's Astros is live, I think it's probably up there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's up. I have listened to Blady. Is it Blade or Blady? I never know. There's some good tracks. I'm not like, I haven't listened to them a lot. I need to listen to them more. You think I'm a nerd? Why am I a nerd? It's both. Do people think I'm a nerd? Type yes if you think I'm a nerd. Type no if you don't think I'm a nerd. I actually don't care either way. I'm just interested. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. 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 Geek. You think geek? Okay, everyone thinks I'm a nerd. Okay, that's fair. I don't even want to fight it, you know? Like, I'm just going to embrace it. I think if I was young, I'd be like, mm, I'm not a nerd. But why should I try to be anything different? That's just me. I'm just a nerd. Nerds make the coolest shit, though? You think so? You think the nerds make the coolest shit? What makes me a nerd? What makes me a nerd? I'm just interested in the perception. No, I mean, I'm not old, but you know what I mean. When I mean young, I mean like 10 years ago. When I was like, you know, in my teens. I feel like everything is made by nerds. Interesting. So you think like the most creative stuff is always made by a nerd because the nerd is like really into it? Is that kind of what you're saying? You live on the internet? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Nerds don't have life experience, they can't make cool art. Interesting, like art nerds and shit. Nerds are into play. Nerds run the world. Am I Swedish? No. No, not really. I need a sniper monkey. It's about that time in the game where I need to get a sniper monkey. Oh, the... The sight lines on this are kind of tough. I think it's better to have a sight line here. Like something like this, maybe. <laughs> I 
How can you not really be Swedish? I think I have like a little bit of Swedish DNA, but like extremely small amount. I don't remember though. I'd have to look. I did that DNA test one time. I remember some stuff. I know I had like a really high amount of Neanderthal compared to the average person. Not like extremely high, but more than the average person, which is just funny on its face. I also think it's funny like as a character or like as a bit to, pre to pretend like you're really into your Neanderthal ancestry as if that matters or if that's something to <laughs> be happy about. Um, I have like a little bit of Iranian, like really tiny amount, like two or three percent. But I'm mostly just like uh, English, Italian, and Irish are like the big ones. I wanted to test like that so bad. Even though it would just be like 99 Polish. Yeah, I'm really, really white. I'm like a, I'm very white. Irish big up. Yeah, I got a lot, I have a lot of Irish and Italian. I'm proud of the Irish and the Italian part. I'm not proud of the English part. <laughs> Is that fucked up to say? Do, 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 do. <laughs> now I want to do one, but it's expensive. It is expensive for what it is. I, I got it like when I was on a sale or something, I think. But yeah, it's It's expensive for what's essentially just a little fucking, you know, infographic. No, I mean... 100% Lunar Plague. <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's interesting just to know, like, uh, where your DNA comes from, but most people in America are just kind of, just mutts. Which is cool in its own way. But yeah, it's just like, an, it's a way to feel interested about, you know, yourself and your past and whatnot. Like, I don't think most people take it too seriously. But maybe some people do. And then that gets kind of cringe. Like when Elizabeth Warren is like, says she's Native American. What am I dressing up for as Halloween? For Halloween? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to dress up as a, as a freaking couch. I want to be a couch. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a couch actually. Cause then people would sit on me. Um, I'll be a light. I'll be a light fixture. I'll be a, a bush, like a plant. And I'll, I'll be a fern and I'll just sit in the corner of the room. Okay. I got to get camo monkey. I just realized. Oh God. Lamp. What's up, Starry Galaxies? Will you hate me if I say I ain't bothered to dress up? No, I mean, the real answer is I don't, I'm not gonna dress up either. I mean, I'm like, you know, at some point you just, you stop doing things like that. I guess that's where I'm at. I wanna get another sniper monkey. I'm being Scoopy Doo lol. That rocks. Scare kids and then run into the woods. I feel like having a sniper monkey over here is so bad. Like, look how little it covers. But also, if I don't have one over there, then I'm not covering the other areas. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. I feel like right here might be good. I need glue monkeys? Oh shit, do I? Okay. 
I believe you. Let's get the bigger globs. <laughs> I might even get the glue soak. That's right. Glue soak. Wait, is he on the stump? Holy shit. Going as Mika wearing orange shirt and black pants. That's actually sick. <laughs> That's actually cool. Yeah, he would probably be the easiest to cosplay, huh? I guess Panda wouldn't be too hard either, because most of the uh, character is just pink. For mine, you would need a whole fucking astronaut suit. For Schlatt, you would need, like, basically a fur suit. Put a sniper monkey on the stump? Is that actually a fucking thing you do? I will. I'll try that when I get 300. But at this point, it might be time to get the mortars. Chat's gonna get mad, but look. It's mortar season, baby. I guess pandas is also kind of a fursuit. But... Yeah, pandas, you can do the VTuber as well, but you could also... I feel like the head of a panda is not very furry. Is that wrong to say? When people draw a panda, they're not really drawing, like, a a real panda. It's more of, like, a a little character. Like, it's literally just, like... It's, like, almost, like, Mickey Mouse-esque. Like, it's literally just the three circles and the eyes. It, it's not just, a like, literally the, the animal via panda, whereas... Schlatz, I feel like, is more so, like, literally a goat. Like, a lot of people draw him... Like, it's pretty... It's pretty furry-esque, I would say. So, I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. Mika's definitely probably the easiest one to do, though, huh? You just need, like, a black wig. Not even, because sometimes the characters... It's kind of like ambiguous whether it's black or brown hair. So can I... You can actually put a sniper monkey on the stump. Wow. That's actually crazy. Why didn't I do that? Sweet. Yeah, you just need orange shirt, black pants. Little sensor bar. That could be fun. You could do it two different ways. You could do like makeup. For the sensor bar, or you could like literally have like a sensor bar, kind of like like a little headpiece thing. That could be kind of fun. You were Mika last Halloween? Really? That's really cool. That is very cool. Your hair feels weird on your head? <laughs> Why is that? Oh, true, a visor. Kai, that's a good idea. That's a creative idea. My boyfriend didn't know who Astro was, and he thought a pic I showed him was me. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> that's funny. Did anybody wear a spacesuit and paint a skull on the helmet? I wanted to do that. That's just, I, I would, that would be cool, but I could see how that would be like an expensive costume. I feel like my character might be kind of hard to cosplay. <laughs> what do you mean, guy? Hell yeah, Squawk. Shout out, Gebergably. No matter what gender you are, if you are white, you are cursed with a mild astrocyst lookalike curse. <laughs> so I just look like an average human. Unironically, that was actually like my biggest insecurity growing up. Like when I was a kid. I used to be like really self-conscious because I would look in the mirror. This is when I was like six. I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, damn, I look so average. I just look so average, there's nothing interesting. That used to plague me as a kid. 
Yeah. Great way to tell what clothes will look good on me. That's funny. Zebra striped balloons that combine the meanness of white balloons and black. Oh, I already know that shit. Mortar time! You fucking know what time it is. Let's fucking go. That's fair, Visco. That's fair. That's pretty funny story. Yeah, I don't I mean don't get me wrong, I understand that I have a lot of a lot of privilege. Mortar, mortar, mortar. Oh my god, I'm gonna make it faster. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm getting another sniper monkey. <laughs> okay, I like sniper monkey and... Wait, where'd it go? Okay, I'm not getting another sniper monkey. I like sniper monkey and mortar monkey. Those are my two favorites. Yo, fuck yeah, Marvel Jams. You guys should be fucking proud of yourselves. You're all awesome. Mm, monkey farm. Wait, what did I just unlock? Oh, monkey village. That's sick. I'm getting another mortar though. Get owned. It censored Lamau? That's fucking funny. Best member of SCP. No, oh, thank you, Convict Five. I don't think so. I think I'm statistically the worst member of Sleep Deprived. At least in terms of numbers and like popularity. Tax shooter. Maybe. Maybe I put one of these, uh. Over by the stump. That's fair, today isn't good music. Isn't it Mika? Isn't Mika like bigger than me? Like, I mean, not that it's a fucking competition. I'm not trying to compare us in that way. I just kind of figured Mika was bigger. I'm getting this Gwendolyn or whatever her name is. What next? Get him, Gwen. I love Gwen in the Spider Verse movies. That's true today, good music. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, like, I feel like if you count like uh, Mika's music. I feel like we're about, maybe about the same size, or he's a little bigger, I would say. <laughs> Camo balloon. Camo balloon. So I gotta get my snipers ready. Let's get a shrapnel shot. Holy. And let's upgrade this guy so he can get the camo balloons. But ba boom. Easy. Oh, they can't even get out of there. I guess that's true, Convict. I do also, like, think... You know, you have to think about more about, like, the people that are actually consuming it now, though, because... You know, I may have, like, almost 500k subs, but obviously I'm not getting 500k views, you know. But it's not a competition, though. I checked out you and Mika's music for the first time the other day, and you guys are so talented. Metals is so good, it goes so hard. 
Fuck yeah. Thank you. I loved uh, working on that song. Mika's so freaking talented. Yeah, I think we're all awesome. We're all equally cool. This is not even a competition. They can't do anything. They <laughs> actually have destroyed balloons. Easiest game of my life. And it's not because I'm playing on the easiest difficulty. <laughs> it's because I'm really good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, the YouTube comments are kind of, uh, can be hit or miss sometimes. I think what's hard about our YouTube comments is sometimes it's hard for us to tell whether people are being like ironic or not, you know? Like it's hard to tell whether, uh, what, like if a comment is like, damn, this episode fucking sucks, you know? I mean, I guess if you saw it, I don't know. See, like it's hard to, it's hard to tell whether people are joking or not in the comments. Cause sometimes they're just like very mean. But it's like, is it a joke or not? You can't really tell. It's just people trying to make jokes that they've seen other people make. Yeah, there is that like really like constant comment that we get that's like uh you know sleep deprived never fails to blah 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 we get that one a lot i'm not really sure what that is i'm assuming it's like a i'm assuming it's like a schlatt thing right like schlatt would get those comments and now they're just in our comments but i'm not really sure maybe it's like our own thing <laughs> either way <laughs> it's it's we get a lot of comments like that it's everywhere? Okay, it's not even just a schlad thing, it's just everything. Oh. I didn't know that. Any advice on waking up earlier? I'm the worst person to ask that. I literally woke up at 5 p.m. today. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're gonna have to find a better, uh, better mentor on that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm literally nocturnal right now. <laughs> it's really bad. I mean, it's kind of nice. I don't really care. I've always kind of been this way. I've, I like often develop like nocturnal sleeping habits or like have problems sleeping. So it's like pretty, uh, pretty common for me. Like it was annoying when I had shit to do. So I like... Like, if there's people in the chat who are like, oh, that's fucked up. You probably just, you have to, like, think about how my life is structured, I think. It doesn't actually affect me that badly. Isn't this how your high school took you to court? <laughs> yeah, so it was a problem when I was in high school and college. Because, uh, yeah, well, in high school, in senior year, I would stay up all night, uh, almost every night. And I would go to school without sleep. Um, I was basically like an insomniac and, uh, but it was really bad because sometimes like I was so tired, like I couldn't, like I'd been up for so long that I just couldn't go to school. Um, and so I missed like, yeah, like 30 or 40 days of school cause I just wasn't going cause I was like literally like so tired and, uh, yeah, they tried to take me to court or they threatened it. It's like called like, uh, like truancy or something. I literally don't even remember the word, but yeah. That was in high school. 
And so it affected me pretty bad then. But then in college it was a little better. Because you don't go to college every day. So I was, it was easier to manage. And it's not as long, right? Like you're not in class for like eight hours every day, Monday through Friday. So it's like easier to manage like it wasn't. But I, there was also days where I just didn't go to college. But I tried to go as much as I could. Um, I'm not an insomniac though, like not anymore. So like, don't worry. I get sleep. I just, I do it really <laughs> at weird times. I just get, uh, I really, I get really, uh, hyper-focused on things. Like I, uh, like I'll be like suddenly like, oh shit, I want to make like a fucking a painting, you know, or something. Right. And then I, even if I'm like really tired, I just do the thing. And then like, oops, six hours have passed. It's eight in the morning. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> like that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's an ADHD thing. That's where I am at. Stuck making art. Yeah. Gamers can relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess like if you stay up all night playing a game, you're like, oops, 8 a.m. Forgot I was asking a sleep deprived member for better sleep. <laughs> That's true, too. Do you see my fucking mortars? I'm fucking crazy. Astro, do you like horror movies? Uh, I want to say that I do, but I haven't... Like, I, I, there's some that I like. I want to watch, like, old classic horror movies, though, because I feel like... They're probably actually really good. And I just haven't uh, watched a lot of them. Like, I want to watch, like, The Fly. Moab. Burn it. Easy. Fucking easy. I think I want to do all six of these. So that guy, I, I want to do two more. At least one more. Scream is good. I've never seen Scream. I've seen a parody of it, though. But this level seems like pretty straightforward, I think. Did I not play this one earlier? This one looks familiar to me for some reason. I probably played it before. In the, in the distant past. With enough fuel and air... Everything burns. Yeah, Hitchcock. I, I gotta watch a. I've never watched a Hitchcock film, so I, I think it's not fair for me to say whether I like horror movies or not because I feel like I haven't really actually given them a chance. The only horror movies I've seen are like those really shitty modern ones that like I was like forced to watch during social gatherings with people <laughs> that were always really bad, like Human Centipede, like that kind of shit. I was just like, oh, this sucks. Hey, Maple. Dude, everyone should go check out Maple. I don't know if Maple uh, hates me or likes me or whatever, but I really respect Maple's art. I think that uh, there should be more people that just like put out what they want to put out and speak from the heart. And Maple does that. Everyone should check out Maple's uh, YouTube videos. They're really good. Boomerang monkey. Don't unsub. Why are you unsubbing? Why are you unsubbing? Yeah, Maple should post their YouTube. I'll, I'll fucking post Maple's YouTube. I'll fucking do it. Maple milk. YouTube. If you just search maple milk, it comes up. But look at this. Right here. Ba boom. <laughs> when that in utero video comes out, you won't need to recommend me anymore. Yeah, you're making an in utero video? Yo, fuck yeah. I hope it blows up. Yeah, Maple makes these sort of. They're kind of like. I, I, feel, I always feel weird describing other people's things when they're in front of me because I don't want to say something wrong, but. It's, it's like a video essay that's very like. Uh, very from the heart. Like, I don't know if you guys have watched video essays. But a lot of video essays are, seem very formulaic to me. 
Like they're like uh, scripted in a way that just doesn't seem very genuine. And they're just kind of like, a lot of them will just be like descriptive. Like they'll just literally be like, this came out in 1976. And like, it's easy to do, right? Cause I think I would do that too if I tried. Cause it'd be like, you're used to doing that like in school or it's just like, you just list off shit off of Wikipedia. But Maples feels like different in the way that it feels more like raw and emotional. Like if it, it, when you're watching it, it feels like Maple's actually speaking like how they feel about something. I don't I don't feel that way about a lot of other video essayists. So that's just my opinion. But hopefully uh, that <laughs> was an okay description, Maple. Bloons Monkey, fuck yes, yeah. Sim is here. Thank you for the prime. Do you think we'll hit 150 subs? Oh, you're welcome, Abel. <laughs> that, that makes me feel really happy that you uh, enjoyed the compliment. Are you in anarchism, communism, and, and lesbian? <laughs> what is that? What is that comment? <laughs> Are you a anarchism, communism, and lesbian? <laughs> Kilo bits for a second. Thank you for the prime. Uh, I'm not an anarchist. And sometimes I think it's kind of... It, it feels cringe to call yourself a communist for some reason. I don't really know why that is. Um, But I, I would say I'm, I'm definitely a leftist. But I, I would say I don't really subscribe to much anarchist thought. But that's just me. I'm I'm more uh more uh what would you say in the top left of the political compass um yeah I don't know lesbian is weird cuz it's like you know I I consider myself non-binary so it's like weird for me to think about <laughs> I will check out Maple after stream, but I would also like to recommend Bro Bromden if you guys like entertaining video essays. Fuck yeah. I think it also helps with Maples that I'm interested in the topics too, because I like uh I like a lot of the stuff that Maple likes. At least uh music wise. Like my favorite uh videos by Maple are the the music related ones. I liked uh their video on uh Nirvana's Bleach. And uh, Nirvana's secret hit, Talk To Me, which is a great song. So if you're near Nirvana, those are some good vids. I, I like, see, so this is weird, Squawk. Shoegaze is fucking weird. Cause I, my bloody Valentine, specifically Loveless, but honestly, I really like MBV as well, the, the last album they released. It's pretty good, but My Bloody Valentine, I fucking love them. Like, I think they sound so fucking good, and I'm kind of inspired by them on my newest album, which is coming out fairly soon. Ooh. Um, it'll have some, it'll have a lot of shoegaze elements to it. It'll be very shoegazy. Um, but it's really funny, because other than my bloody valentine i don't really listen to any other shoegaze and it's not that i haven't tried it like i've tried listening to dozens of shoegaze bands and none of them ever hook me like my bloody valentine i really don't know why i would say george clanton has kind of a shoegaze sound and i do really like george george clanton if that counts but yeah <laughs> Fuck yeah, Mabel. Yeah, it'll... I I sort of view this album... I wasn't really thinking of it this way when I was making it, but now that it's done, I uh, I sort of see it as like a sequel to Click Here to Download a Free Car. It sort of sounds like that album, or Elements of ZZZ, because like the, the first half is kind of like that. Uh, it's like that, but in, but way more expanded and more shoegazy, I would say. It, it just in my head it feels like a, a sequel which is cool because I think that click here to download a free car in my opinion 
is the most accessible sounding. I know it's not my most popular, but if I was recommending someone to listen to my music, like which one to start with, I would start with Clicker to download a free card because I feel like it's the most mainstream sound. You dislike ZZZ? I, I respect that opinion. I uh, also don't... I've also never been perfectly satisfied with ZZZ, but a lot of people like it. There are songs that I like on ZZZ, but I think there's like... Yeah, there's a lot of... I actually agree with you, honestly. I think that it, it drags a little bit, and there's a couple songs I'm not... I don't like very much. But there are a few songs on it that I'm still really proud of. Sniper monkey time. Can I put him on a roof? <laughs> I guess not. Um, I guess like right... I'm trying to think of a good spot. I feel like right in the middle is pretty good. Did I ever make a rate your music? Yeah, I have a rate your music. I've had a rate your music for a pretty long time. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just, I think it's just ass resist. Whatever the fucking, maybe there's a command. Is there a command? Exclamation point RYM. Is that a thing? Yeah, okay, I do have a command for that. Sick. That's my RYM. If you want it, that is a, Rate Your Music is a really cool website where you can track the music that you've listened to. It's really helpful to me specifically because I just listen to a lot of music. So it helps me kind of catalog like what I like. It, I don't know. I like making lists and shit. I'm weird. I like. I, I just really like making lists. And so it's nice. I can just like go back and refer to it and be like, oh yeah, that album. Like, what did I think of that? And like, it's nice. But any album I've ever listened to, <laughs> I have rated on my rate your music for the most part. There's probably some I'm missing, but for the most part, that's how it be. Yeah, I agree, Maple. It's also just a really good website to find new music. Uh, that is how I find most of my new music. I won't lie, in like 2017, and I don't think this is bad, by the way. A lot of people would say this is bad and whatever, but I used to find a lot of my new music from Anthony Fantano, but nowadays it's more so from Rate Your Music, I would say. Dude, I'm not giving up my fur fur details. That is, uh, that's maybe the vinyl I'm happiest to have. I got it on fucking, uh, it was on eBay. Someone randomly put up 10 copies of it. Like someone just found some back stock and they put up uh, 10 copies of fur fur details. And I don't know if you guys don't know that album, it's basically just really rare. They only, I think they only pressed it like once back in the day and the vinyls, go for like 100 or 200 dollars but someone just randomly put them up on ebay for like 30 bucks and they're it's the original pressing but i think there were two pressings of it one of them is regular and one of them's colored and i don't really care about colored vinyls like i think they're cool but i don't like seek them out because it's not like it sounds better or anything it's just like the visual so i bought it expecting it to be the normal one and then it came in and it was also the colored one. It's not a bootleg. It's the fucking original colored press. It's worth like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> and I just bought it for 30 bucks one day. I was fucking ecstatic. That is the coolest vinyl found find I've ever, ever found. 100%. Maybe like just the coolest thing I've ever collected. Just because it felt so specific to that moment. Like it's not something I can just like... Like, it's not something you can just buy for that cheap. Like, you can't just buy that vinyl for $30. Like, I had to be there in that moment to see that eBay listing and be quick enough to get it. Like, I don't know. It just feels feels cool. feels special. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. On Rate Your Music, I also rate the movies I watch. <laughs> I forgot about that. I also use it for that. Some people use... Uh, Letterboxd, I think it is. But rate your music. You can also rate movies. So I rate my movies on there. But when it comes to movies, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So uh, don't take any of my... 
Well, don't take any of my opinions seriously. Though. They're all just opinions, but... With movies, I definitely don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just rating them based on vibe. <laughs> I'm not, like, a huge movie person. I don't watch, like, a ton of movies. I went through a phase when I was, like, 16 where I tried to watch a lot of movies. But since then, not very much. I feel like I watch, like, three or four movies a year, honestly. <laughs> Maybe that's a lot. I don't know. Maybe that's a lot to some people. We gotta get Astro in a 1950s French new wave. This is why I was a CD collector. It's either common or not. Yeah, that's fair, Maple. I used to also collect CDs because I would uh, put them in my car when I would drive to school. Uh, but... You know, after I graduated, I just got rid of my car and I said I'm never going to drive again. So, now I don't need CDs, but... I think... I honestly think vinyl sounds really good. <laughs> like, it's not like that much... To me, at least, I don't notice that much of a difference. I, it's hard to describe. It's just more of a vibe. Like, if you're sitting down in a room and you're letting the room... Just uh, get absorbed by a sound that you're playing... It's just, uh, it's just a completely different vibe from just listening in your headphones. You just put it into the fucking speakers on your record player, and it, you just hear the, you hear an album kind of in a different way. You hear how the album envelops a room, and I think that that's really interesting. I don't know, that's just me. It's definitely better because it's what they used to make Funko Pops. <laughs> Uh, we were having a discussion on Sleep Deprived about, about, uh, Funko Pops. Because I realized that I'm, I've been getting into Nendoroids. I really like Nendoroids. I gotta slow down on my purchasing of Nendoroids, to be honest. But, I just think they're, they're so cute. But obviously I don't feel that way about Funko Pops. <laughs> but I'll die on this hill. I think, I think Nendoroids are actually good. And Funko Pops are actually bad. But the, but uh, people would argue that the Nendoroid is just a weeby Funko Pop. But I don't agree. I disagree. Are you on the spectrum? Um, you know, I, I don't know. But probably. <laughs> but I don't like saying that, right? Because it's like, I don't know. But a lot of people tell me that they think I am. And, you know, if I am, that's freaking awesome. Boop. Boo. <laughs> I do remember that, Pisco. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> because you have hella sensory issues? Interesting. Do I like men? <laughs> I find some some men attractive, yeah, but it depends. Do, 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 do. If that's what you're asking, or is the question just do I like men in general, like being around them? <laughs> Which honestly, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think I only have like one like man that I like talking to. Honestly. Being around big sweaty men. <laughs> drool. Drool, drool. I don't even know what's going on in the game. I'm actually so good. <laughs> so I love this bit that I have of me talking about how good I am at balloons because I'm literally playing on like actually baby difficulty. <laughs> but I keep saying like, man, I'm so good at balloons. <laughs> but like it's because I'm literally like I'm on baby mode. But man, this is easy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, can I put a pirate in the ocean? <laughs> that seems fucking horrible. He can barely even reach. What the fuck? <laughs> what would I... I don't know. What do I even need in the game? Oh, I need a mortar. That's what I fucking need. That's what I need to realize every time. Do I have ADHD? I do have ADHD, yeah. That one I have diagnosed. Because I was just curious. And I was like, you know what? Let's take a peek. And they were like, yep. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Cool. Are you are insane and I'm scared of you. I kind of agree. You're asking me a lot of questions. <laughs> like, why are you asking me all these questions? <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> What's your bank account? Where can I find you on an average weekday? I think everyone gets one question. You all get one question, but if you ask like five questions, it's, it starts to get, it's like kind of scary. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Long range. <laughs> what medication am I on? Uh, E. Do you live near a lot of people? <laughs> If you were in a life or death situation, would anyone be around to know you died? I mean, it depends on the situation, right? Somebody update that Astros' Wikia stat. Oh, thanks, Pisco. Yeah. I guess I haven't been very public about that. Maybe a lot, not a lot of people know that. I'm such a fucking idiot. I just, like, say things. <laughs> I just say anything. <laughs> Your ass resist. We have to know. My favorite album? That's so hard. That's like an impossible question. It can never be answered. There are things like, if you ask me what's my favorite movie, right? It's very easy. I don't watch that many movies. So it's easy for me to pick a favorite. I got 50 oh, monkey yeah. money. Ooh, yeah. But if you ask me, like, favorite music, like, that's fucking impossible. I've listened to, like, a thousand albums. Like, it's... It's so hard. My favorite movie? My favorite movie is Requiem for a Dream. And my second favorite movie is Train Spotting. Both of those movies are about heroin. For some reason, heroin makes for a good movie to me. They're also both really... Well, actually, Requiem for a Dream is extremely pessimistic. Although, you could argue that it has an optimistic ending. That things all kind of work out in a way. But Requiem for a Dream, I would say, is a really depressing heroin movie. But Train Spotting is a really, actually, optimistic heroin movie. There's an op like, when I got done watching Train Spotting, I was watching it. This is actually funny. I was watching it in high school. So this goes back to, like, not sleeping. It was like, well, actually, it might have been college. But it was like 6 or 7 in the morning. And I got done watching the movie. I had stayed up all night train spotting. And I was like, this is it made me so happy. I was had so much joy that I got out. I just ran out of my room and I went to the garage and I got on my bike and I just biked around the neighborhood really, really fast. <laughs> and I just biked for like a long time, just randomly. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. I have so much dopamine. But, yeah, it was a life-affirming-ass movie. Did I watch Perfect Blue? I have watched Perfect Blue. It's a good movie. The Lighthouse is really good. Were you not scared by the baby on the ceiling? No, not at all. I just thought, thought it was a really interesting visual. Do you not think that movie is uh, uplifting at the end, Catier? Have you seen... Has anyone seen Trade Spotting? The ending is so optimistic. It's like, fuck, I just went through all this horrible shit. Like, literally horrible that most people will go through. And I'm fucking awesome. I'm just gonna go live my life. Like, that's such a sick... ...ass... ...story. Such 
such a sick ass moment. Oh, I'm so glad I bought that mortar. Holy shit. I should change its target though. I should put it like right here. What's the worst movie you've watched? You have to check my rate your music. I tend to forget about shit that I hate. I just take it out of my psyche. I run away from it. But there's probably a horrible movie that I've seen. You know, I really honestly... Maybe this is controversial. I think Despicable Me is really bad. <laughs> Which is probably just such a stupid opinion to have. It's like a fucking kids movie. But... I honestly just, I, I genuinely think, like, unironically, that Despicable Me is bad. And I hate to say that, because it feels wrong to, like, shit on an animated movie. Because there's probably, like, so many cool people that worked on it, you know? It feels wrong, but... <laughs> that movie fucking sucks. Okay, everyone hates me for my, my despicable me tick. I hate having negative opinions. It makes everyone angry. Okay, I love despicable me. You can't ask me what my least favorite thing is if you're gonna get mad. What's another movie I don't like? What's my lowest rated movie on my rate your music? Can somebody check for me? <laughs> I love being negative. I wish I could be more negative. I'm always scared of it. I'm, I'm looking at my rate your music right now. Go into the movie section. I've seen 200 movies. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I've rated five movies a one out of 10. What did I rate Despicable Me? I probably didn't rate it because I thought that, uh, or because I didn't finish it. But I'm going to rate that now. I'm going to give it a 1. Even though I didn't finish it. Okay, let's look. Oh, yeah. Cocaine Bear. Oh, and the Sonic... Oh, that one's going to make... That, the, there's one on here that will actually make people angry. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie, I think, is a... Is a 1 out of 5. That one... That probably is actually fucked up. The Despicable Me one, you can kind of get away with. But... I'm assuming people are going to get mad that I don't like the Sonic movie. I I didn't finish it. I got halfway through and there's this scene where they check into a motel and Sonic uh, runs around the room and he sits down on the bed and he looks at the main character and he farts. He like, I think he lifts up his leg and farts. And I was like, I'm done. When that happened, I quite literally paused it. Then I turned it off. <laughs> when he farted, I turned it off. So, look, I haven't seen the whole. I haven't seen the whole movie. I, it might maybe it gets better, but I couldn't get past the fart. And I think that's fair of me. <laughs> Is that so wrong? I couldn't handle the fart. I have not seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie now. Uh oh, a lot of camo balloons. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. No, I think I got it. It'll be fine. I do need a ninja though. I never put a ninja out on the field. No Naruto's. <coughs> Where even is the ninja? Oh, he's like down here. 425, okay. I'm gonna get a ninja. I probably will not watch the FNAF movie, to be honest with you. It's just not something that I'm very interested in. But I, I really do respect people that are into it. I think that's really cool. Genuinely. I'm not just saying that. You do not respect them? That's fair. I don't know anything about Ninjago. 
Why the fuck did you listen to annoying orange emoji raps? <laughs> Sometimes I, uh, I like to listen to albums that are really bad. Just to say that I've listened to them. <laughs> there was one night where I did listen to the entirety <laughs> of annoying oranges emoji raps. Um... 2017 album from Annoying Orange. <laughs> Comedy rap novelty album. <laughs> Emoji raps by Annoying Orange. I listen to every song. And let me tell you, not very good. <laughs> I know you, you wouldn't think. You'd think uh, it would be a really great album. But uh, surprisingly not. Annoying Orange. Rare miss <laughs> on his part. <laughs> the lilac play has a lot of subtle annoying orange emoji rap influence I mean maybe in a way because I'm like I don't want to make music as bad as that <laughs> I think he sold out on that one <laughs> that's funny <sleep. laughs> I think he sold out on that one that's really good <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking annoying orange <laughs> it's just I, it's funny to did Anthony Fantano review that album he really should have that would have been a really funny review <clears throat> I never really liked annoying orange I uh, on it like for being unironic but maybe no one did I, don't know. I mean somebody had to I remember when it came out, I thought it was annoying when I was a kid. But I guess that's in the name, huh? It's like literally supposed to be annoying. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of sick in a way. Like just making art that specifically is supposed to be bad and annoying to consume. Actually kind of cool. Honestly, Annoying Orange is kind of punk as fuck. Annoying Orange might be more punk than most of YouTube. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, Ninja. There we go. Okay, we're good. The Ninja's taking care of the camo balloons. I might get another Ninja, though. Do -do 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 -do. And you know I gotta get another mortar. <laughs> Annoying Orange is the bleeding edge of the new wave of online punk. <laughs> it's the end of it is taking to an extreme. Holy shit. Chad, you guys are funny. It's truth given form. Hmm. I'm gonna get a biplane. You know what? I'm gonna get fucking two of them. I don't know anything about Ninjago, chat. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. That's like a Lego shit, right? Lego Ninjago? I don't even know anything about it. Is it just like ninja stuff? Can you look up the cast of Lego Ninjago and tell us which one you think is the hottest? Okay. Cast of Lego Ninjago. Like, just the cast? Like, literally the cast members? Or, like, the people voicing the characters? Or, like, the actual characters? Like, the voice actors? What are the characters? The Legos? Okay. So, I'm looking at a picture of them. I see six of them. Is this correct? Are there six Lego Ninjago Ninjas? There's a red one, which I think is really lame. No offense. 
I don't know who, what that one is, but there's like a red one. Kind of looks looks like a jockey, outspoken character, that, which I'm typically not. I'm just not really into like the main character jockey guy. Um, then there's a girl that looks kind of confident. She looks kind of badass. I kind of like her. She looks kind of like cocky. Then there's like a kind of a suave looking ninja that's like looks like they're like they smoked a blunt they look like they're chill there's this white one that has this really horrible haircut that one sucks that's the worst one they have like blue eyes and they're wearing all white and they have like a giant I don't even know what that is that's horrible yeah I think it's the girl I'm getting can't uh, Zane is good <laughs> Zane is the one with the white hair. You guys actually like that one? <laughs> like, do you guys actually know what the fuck I'm talking about? Like, I'm looking at these characters and I've never seen them in my life. You guys all know about this? Let me put it on the screen. Google Moro, please. What is this image? Okay, it's like a... Alright, let me, let me put them all on the screen. Oh my god, what the fuck? I don't know how to fucking figure out where I am. What the hell? I'm trying to get to fucking Linux. Okay, I think I found it. Bam. These fucking guys? You think the, the guy with the white hair, with the blue eyes, like the giant like white hair that's like just like a like a toothbrush you guys think that one's cool oh these are the movie designs oh so that's why i'm fucking up that's why i'm fucking up because i'm looking at the movie designs okay so but you guys understand what i'm saying then right the one with the toothbrush hair looks really stupid like i'm right about that then because I thought you guys were saying you liked that one. And that's pretty... That would be fucked up. Yeah, Colgate ass. <laughs> okay, so I need... The old... The old cast? I, I'm struggling to find... Find a picture of this. Okay. Maybe I, I see it now? Let me try to show it to you. This one? You guys see that? Is it this right here? Is this correct? If this is correct, let me know. Okay. You're right. You're right. The toothbrush one does look less bad. In this one. But they still... I still don't like them. Um... Honestly, I like the, I like the, well, I like the old man. Is it okay to like the old man? I mean, the old man's kind of awesome. Is that, is it fair to even like that character? Is he even a character? What is he? Is he like, does he die? Is he like uh, Gandalf? I like him. If I'm honest, he'd be my favorite. But... If I had to pick a non-old man, <laughs> if I had to pick a non-old man, I think the, I mean, I do kind of like, I, I kind of like the girl, but I kind of liked her design in the other one more. I don't really like this one as much. I think maybe the fourth one. The sixth one also looks really nice. It looks like it's like kind of a boring character, but it like the guy wearing blue. That looks like a boring character, but it, I feel like they would be really nice. Who's the who's the sixth one? Who's the one all the way on the right? That's Jay. Okay, I kind of like Jay. Old man's my favorite, but six yeah the six god Jay. If if I had to pick a non <laughs> they are posing like Weezer. If I had to pick a non old man, 
I would pick J. Okay, cool. Let's beat the game. Moab, burn it. Moab, burn it. There we go. We burned it. Awesome. Yeah. Let's fucking go. If you were MLP, what would your cutie mark be? What does that mean? Is that like the mark on their ass? MLP. Cutie. Mark. That's the mark on their ass, right? That's like their tramp stamp. <laughs> what? Why do they have tramp stamps? How's the Know Your Meme paycheck treating you? It's nice. Do you mean that in a sarcastic way? I think it's nice. Uh, okay, so what are their normal pins? I'm looking at their pins right now. There's one that's just a music note. That's kind of cool. I kind of feel like I, I would maybe be that one. But Fluttershy's is also pretty good with the butterflies. I'm just looking at them. But I guess you're asking me if like I could make my own, right? I wouldn't smash any of them. Oh, hey, Splendid Beavers. I gotta give Splendid Beavers VIP. I was asking if you were in the chat earlier, but I, I haven't read your name. Uh, I Can I have like just a hammer and sickle? <laughs> Kind of like a little edgy, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> I just, I, I do actually like how the design of the hammer and sickle looks. Maybe it could be like a hammer and sickle with like a spiral behind it. Like a spiral and then like a hammer and sickle over the spiral. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yes, but sorry, I just wasn't reading. I often don't read the names when I'm reading the chat messages, to be honest. Somebody relay this to Animal. <laughs> Animal does uh, draw good, like, pony stuff, right? Okay. Goodbye.